Howdy folks, this is Grimner here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the now playing plugin on FUBAR 2000, uh, which you can then use for your broadcasts using uh, a program like uh, Broadcast using this tool, but uh, to broadcast on Shoutcast or Icecast servers. All right, the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is download FUBAR 2000. Just go to FUBAR2000.org and then click on the download button click, button click, uh, the <laughs> link <laughs> for the latest version here. 1.3.9 uh, is the latest and greatest, and you can download that and, and then install it, and, and you'll have your FUBAR up and running. It'll take you through some steps there to uh, get you to set up your uh, library where, where all your music uh, or all your mp3 files are located at. May not be music, maybe something else. I don't I don't know what all what all you might have but uh, it's, a, it's a great little program. It's called FUBAR 2000 and it replaces well can be used instead of things like uh, Windows Media Player, VLC, Winamp, whatever uh, other applications you have, um, and if you haven't, if it doesn't take you through the library settings, just uh, click on the library option up here on the menu, and then go to configure, and uh, it, it says, "All right, where's your music folders at?" And you tell it where your where your music's at. Uh, so, and, and it uh, monitors those f folders that you tell it uh, for any changes and or updates. Now, hopefully, um, all of your files, your MP3 files, are already tagged with MP3 tags. And uh, let's take a quick look here uh, at this. Let's see. Um, let's go to properties on this particular song. Uh, and, and this tells you, okay, these are what the tags in this particular song shows you. BB King, Woke Up This Morning is the track title, a little, the album that it's at. Uh, th these are all very important to have in there. Uh, at least for me, I, I put I tag every file I, I uh, get if they don't come tagged already. If you're downloading from Amazon um, or I don't know where else you get music, uh, iTunes, I guess some people do that. Uh, they'll come pre-tagged. They already have all the tags built into them. Uh, if you are ripping from a CD, you'll have to put those tags in yourself or uh, the application that you rip with, which we're not going to get into that today, um, may well do that tagging for you. Either way, you need those tags in there in order to use uh, the the meta data uh, for your for your broadcasts. Okay, so there you got it. You got your downloaded your FUBAR 2000. You set up your FUBAR 2000 uh, on this uh, side over here. Let me zoom over there to that. Uh, it gives you some options of, of how you want this to be displayed. Uh, where'd it go? I clicked on the wrong thing. There. <laughs> yeah, it happens. All right. Uh, anyway, so these are like uh, just a, a bunch of uh, folders that I have mine in because down here in this section, down below, actually, what I should do is move that up and slide that down. Oop, not that. This. <laughs> a little uncoordinated here today. All right, anyway, so uh, this says, all right, how do you want to look, how do you want this to look up here? I have it set by folder structure because that's uh, the easiest way for me, but you can pick uh, uh, various other options by album, by artist, by genre, by year, uh, and by artist slash album. Uh, it all depends on, on, on what you got going on, uh, how you want to set up your playlists. Either way, once you once you have that set up, uh, and I wasn't really going to go into a, uh, a total foobar configuration here thing, but that's all right. Um, let's say you, you want to create a playlist for a particular program you're going to do, or, or something along those lines. Um, what you would do at that point is to uh, let me slide this back up on top here, and. Um, you could say file um, new playlist right there you see that okay boom and it'll create a brand new playlist on that side over there click 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 okay 
now you see the new tab, new playlist on that side. And then from that, you can just go to uh, pick pick whatever, pick whatever you want, um, uh, however you want to do it. Let's say you want to play a, a whole Beck show, just a show of Beck albums. You'd say add this to current playlist. Boom, it throws all of your stuff in that folder, whatever's in that folder, uh, depending on how well you're organized. Uh, there, over that, into that. Okay, that's terrific. But now we get to the real problem is how do I make these whatever song is currently playing go out to my broadcast tool? Well, what you need is a little plugin. Uh, the plugin that, that you should be using is called, let me go over here, Now Playing Simple. Now Playing Simple. Um, there's a, no, I'll put these links at the end of the description and below the video, but uh, OBS project slash forum, blah, blah, blah. I ain't going to give you the whole thing because it's too long to read. Uh, anyway, this tells you basically how to set it up. However, it says you need OBS. And let me tell you right now, you don't need OBS. Um, OBS is a cool tool for doing uh, other broadcasting, video broadcasting and such. Actually, let me just zero in on that there. Uh, anyway, this is the, the, the title of, of the thread here on, on the Open Broadcaster Software Forum. Uh, but you don't need OBS to do this. You do need FUBAR 2000, which you already got, but what you need is the Skippy Riches Now Playing Simple FUBAR 2000 plugin. And when you click that link, it takes you over to this page over here on skippyrich.com here's a little wiki and uh, there you go foobar now playing simple uh, and and, uh, and you download it with this link right here can you see that okay that that little link will download this in a 7-zip format which if you have uh, 7-zip you can extract that if you don't have 7-zip it's free I guess I'll put that link into the uh, description as well to get 7-zip uh, this is all for Windows machines, you know. So uh, in, anyway, so there you go. You download the the, the link there, and you extract that uh, in, into a folder, and then you have to uh, import that into your directory. Let me go over here. File. Can you see this? Yeah, we can see this. All right. Go to Preferences on the Fubar 2000. Um, then on the it's been a while since I've done this here. Okay. Uh, yeah, on the components tab up top. Uh, these, these are all the various uh, components I have installed. Um, and you can see I already have the Now Playing Simple installed there. But if you don't have Now Playing Simple installed, oh, this does handle 7-zip, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, zip and other foo dot zip, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure if it handles 7-zip or not. Either way, oh, th there it is, FUBAR. Oh, that's, a, that's a different one. Whatever. Anyway, uh, w once you get that downloaded, um, you can just go there, find your file, wherever it may be located, and install it. Uh, and it'll pop up over here. Then, on this, you'll get a new little thing under your tools portion of your menu. Let me zoom in down there so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, down here, now you can see under Tools, you have Now Playing Simple. Now, Now Playing Simple, and let me go back over here, it wants to know, okay, uh, where is the, what file name are you going to store this under? I store mine under one called uh, foonow.txt on my F drive. You can put it whatever drive you want there um, and call it whatever you want doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, so there's that. Uh, and then this information should probably be all right, depending on what you want to do. Uh, you can add, as I have done here, uh, at the end of my artist title, artist, artist album title description there, uh, these are, are the, what it pulls from your, from your meta tags. Uh, you can add something there. I put in there the description of what the radio station I, I'm broadcasting on is at this particular point in time. It's RLM-WT 
space radio and so if it is playing a song it'll do that and if you pause it and or stop it it'll switch to not playing a song uh, and if you open up your file well this is this is uh, from uh, earlier uh, let, let me actually close that and then reopen it where's my my thing there Right here, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, there it is. Not playing a song. <laughs> uh, the the other one was uh, it, it, well, it's not kind of Notepad doesn't automatically update. It does automatically update, but it doesn't update to what you see. <laughs> so it says not playing a song. So now let me close that again, and and we'll say okay on this here. Did you? And let's say I, I let me mute this down. I don't need to hear it. Um, we'll play this song here. Okay. Now, when I reopen that file again, um, here we go. Notepad. And there, hopefully, yes, you can see it has the artist, the album, the name of the song followed by my, my personal message that I put in there. Um, I think that's really all you need as far as that. Let me see. I think what else you might need uh, as far as setup. Oh, okay. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll just show you this part. I showed you this other, this part. Uh, when I set up, or when I, when I did the video, how to configure your butt, um, because if you're using a butt broadcaster tool, um, you'll you'll want this information. Um, let me just open this up here a little bit. Okay. And if you're not using, but maybe some other application uh, that you have uh, will work fine. Either way, uh, on but one, this is one point zero point one point one four. Uh, one point one three looks a little bit different. Uh, on the stream tab in the settings window. Uh, it says, all right, where where is the file that you want to use? And you can use this little folder icon here to go and find your uh, file. We said mine is located on my F drive under foonow.txt. should match exactly what you have in the uh, settings in your foobar. No, I don't want to save that change. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, once again, quickly here, file. Preferences. Uh, if it's not installed, you go to Components, you click the Install button, and then you go find the file and install it. Uh, once you've done that, you would click on the, the Tools thing to download that. Then it says select a subpage. Subpage you're going to want is now playing simple. And then there you have it. Uh, and you put that information in. And so every time the song changes, every, it changes that file. And every time that file changes, it broadcasts it out through your, through your broadcaster. That's it, folks. Thanks for listening.